Today's video is sponsored by Rich Reviews. Rich Reviews now provides services to support our viewers in purchasing their own dream supercar. Our services currently include pre-purchase inspection, support calls and collection video to document you collecting your own dream supercar. More information in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video guys. hearing additional pops and crackles from the exhaust with the um, Forza controller now with the exhaust switch with the valves open. It's definitely showing different characteristics now I fit the Forza. <laughs> goes I mean he's definitely putting his toe into it as he says but it's a great car the 355 really love it I mean the sound of it with the Capristo is just fantastic and we say you know do you really need any more power than a 458 well you don't really need any more power than a 355 there's no problem keeping up with the 355 but it it goes it's, it's a great car you know it's a great car 
and it's uh, you, you can see that the road holding you can see it squat down as it comes out the corners as he starts to accelerate it's great you know 355 is great cars it's a fantastic era same era of course as my um, 1997 993s there's no doubt about it though i mean yeah my 993s would have been a better build quality but that 355 my 993 would never have been able to live with it on road holding and on speed no way so it just goes to show you know ferrari got it right in that 355 but then it was their main co competitor to the nsx because the 348 got trounced by the nsx and they got their bit of a nosebleed over it so they designed the 355 to really make sure that um there wasn't much else in the marketplace that could touch it at the time which was pretty much the truth but yeah, I can see those 355s going really skyrocketing up in value again. They did before and then they came back again, they leveled out. But I can see them really going up in value big time and holding. That's such a beautiful classic car and such a change point going forward for Ferrari and for all supercars at the time. So here now at the Prescott Hill Climb, we've just parked up on the side. There's not a great amount of parking available for some reason. Um, we didn't come in very early, but we weren't that late. I think we turned up about um, 10, something like that, half nine, 10 o'clock. So we're here for the Pirelli Hill Climb Championship. And apparently Ferrari had a quite a big day here yesterday. The, the Hill Climb runs from the 23rd across to the 24th. So it's across both days for the weekend. Um, and we're here for the actual racing. Yesterday was the qualifying, today is the actual racing. You can, you'll hear a lot of the cars screaming around in the background and obviously we're providing you a lot of content for the actual cars screaming up the hill. We're not going to do too much to camera because we're just going to let the, the cars speak for themselves here today. Um, but uh, yeah, we've parked here. So just to give you a bit of a rundown, a few of the cars that, we, that have come in. We've got 348 from the Ferrari Owners Club here. We've got obviously my, four, my 458. Got a black 458 Italia here. And then um, we also had, who's now left, the, a yellow 355 from Adrian. And we've also got a, a white GT3 behind the 348 as well. So quite a cool little lineup here. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Just behind where we're parked as well, we've got another 458 Italia. And then to my left, we've got a 599. So quite a vast array of cars here. Some nice supercars here today. So this is the paddocks area of the Prescott Hill Climb. You can see all the vast array of cars that are going to be charging up the hill. All the different sponsorship, all the livery that's put across, that's displayed on all the different cars for the, to sponsor them. Some black PVC covering on some of the tyres here. So the cars that are here today are just hill climb cars and they're rated and sectionalised with regards to the cc's of the engine and with regards to whether they're naturally aspirated or turbocharger, in other words force fed. So they're classified in different groups with regards to cc banding. Um, and then there's a, there's a grading or there's a banding at the top, which is over a certain size of CC and performance of the engine, then everything else is captured above a certain marker point, above a certain um, categorization of, of engine size. So uh, that's how they grade these cars and that's the type of cars that are here. And the PVC covering on the wheels, in case you're wondering, is mostly to keep the, uh, the tires clean, to stop them picking up any debris. So you can see here the cars lining up. This is like a saloon classification of racing. I don't quite know what this, how they're, how they're banded, these cars, and how they're grouped together. Um, but you've got Hillman Imp there, heavily tuned up Hillman Imp in front, white Hillman Imp. Um, and then you've got various different types of track day cars, but more of a saloon type track day cars that are lined up here that are gonna go up the hill climb.
So it's turned into a glorious sunny day today. So it's been fantastic for the hill climb. We've got some really great content for you for the cars screaming up and down the hill climb. And we've walked around the car parks to get some supercar footage for you as well. I know you don't necessarily just want to see these, these track cars scream up and down the hill. It's quite repetitive for some of you. Um, so we're going to close out the video from here. Also, as an aside, I'm not sponsored by them, but I bought some Pilates um, and I bought some Pilates shoes to help with the driving because the trainers that I was using were quite thick. Um, I think a lot of my friends were calling them clown shoes, but they're actually bespoke design. But, um, but these are very comfortable and they're great for driving. So in my part two of must haves for supercar owners, I think I'll probably add those in as well. Um, they're, they're really comfortable and they really help when you're driving, um, especially with the distance between the bulkhead and the actual pedals, make it a lot easier to get your feet in there and to actually drive. Well, I've got quite big feet, so it uh, can cause problems if you've got quite thick sole trainer shoes that you're, that you're using. So we're gonna close out from Prescott for the Pirelli Hill Climb Championship. Been a great day today. And we're going to move on now, probably um, catch some lunch in Broadway where we've attended some car shows there before. video today guys thanks a lot for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video